yeah hi everyone my name is ravi prakash and welcome to next class of advanced algebra okay so again we'll discuss some very important concepts and questions here okay so first one will be if 2 raised to x is equal to 3 raised to y is equal to 6 raised to minus z okay so what is the value of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z this is the question right so one similar question in cat was asked in cat 2015 okay and uh, this is very common for ssc also kind of examinations okay so we'll learn how to solve this kind of question right now see if there's are like there are three terms here 2 raised to x equal to 3 raised to y equal to 6 raised to minus z so what we should do is first is we should equate all to k 2 raised to uh, 2 raised to x equal to 3 raised to y equal to 6 raised to minus z equate to k okay so what will happen right the basic rule is actually if a raised to m is equal to b then a is equal to b raised to 1 by m right this we know if a raised to m equal to b then a is equal to b raised to 1 by m both right sides will take mth root so b raised to 1 by m right so simply here also 2 raised to x is equal to k right so 2 is equal to k raised to 1 by x right then 3 raised to y is also equal to k so 3 is equal to k raised to 1 by y then 6 raised to minus z is also k okay then uh, 6 raised to minus z is also k then here 6 is equal to k raised to minus 1 by z fine fine okay now, so we got these three results here, right? So now we have to see here that this number here is 2, this number here is 3, and this number here is 6, right? Then, so we know that 2, I can relate, I can correlate these three things as 2 into 3 is equal to 6, okay? So if 2 into 3 is equal to 6, then k raised to 1 by x into k raised to 1 by y is equal to k raised to minus 1 by z correct i can write this as now this will turn to what this will turn to now since the bases are same right so we know it again that a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n right so here also this base will add so i can write k raised to 1 by x plus 1 by y is equal to k raised to minus 1 by z Correct? And then we also know that if a raised to m is equal to a raised to n, then m is equal to, okay, sorry, then m is equal to n. Okay, so m is equal to n here and when m is equal to n, knowing that, m is equal to n knowing that a is not equal to 1 and a is not equal to 0. Obviously, right? Because, uh, each term a should not be 0 here because if a is 0, 0 raised to something will not be valid, right? For m may not be equal to n because 0 square equal to 0 cube. Okay, what I'm saying is, suppose 0 square equal to 0 cube. So both are 0, 0, right? 0 equal to 0. That doesn't mean that 2 equal to 3, right? Or, or same thing for 1 also. 1 square may be equal to 1 cube. That means 1 equal to 1. That doesn't mean that 2 equal to 3, right? So it is not valid for 0 and 1 basically, right? So here obviously it is not, uh, uh, this uh, x, y, z are not uh, 0, maybe, right? So 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to k raised to minus 1 by z, okay? Or yeah, x, y, z here are not 0 because I, do need to, I need to find the value of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z, okay? So the denominator cannot be 0, denominator cannot be 0, this cannot be 0, right? So a, a, this x, y, z are not 0 here, obviously, okay? So x, y, z are not zeros here and since they are not zeros here, there are some values. So 2 raised to some value will get some positive value, right? They are not 1 also, right? Obviously, since they are not 0, so we will get a equal to 1. That means we will get this equal to 1. 2 raised to x will be equal to 1 only when 2 raised to 0. It becomes 2 raised to 0, right? It is, since x is not equal to 0, it doesn't become 2 raised to 0 also, right? So this these two things are automatically excluded here, okay? Fine. 
so i can simply now write okay so 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to minus 1 by z therefore 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to 0 that's the answer okay this is the answer so question was what is the value of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z answer is 0 answer is 0 next question we'll see see next question is a raised to 1 by m is equal to b raised to 1 by n is equal to c raised to 1 by p okay c raised to 1 by p fine so you need to find the value of given that a b c is equal to 1 okay if a b c equal to 1 then you need to find the value of m plus n plus p m plus n plus p we need to find the value okay well, let's solve it again so if a raised to 1 by m is equal to b raised to 1 by n equal to c raised to 1 by p then a b c equal to 1 right? so again same fund same fund apply a raised to 1 by m is equal to b raised to 1 by n is equal to c raised to 1 by p equate all to k right so if since, since all are equal to k so now a raised to 1 by m is equal to k therefore a is equal to k raised to m okay b raised to 1 by n is equal to k so b is equal to k raised to n right and c raised to 1 by p is equal to k okay c raised to 1 by p is equal to k therefore c is equal to k raised to p right okay so what we know now here is a b c equal to 1 so multiplying this we'll get this 1 right so since a into b into c is equal to 1 therefore k raised to m into k raised to n into k raised to p is equal to 1 correct so now k raised to m plus n plus p is equal to 1 so 1 can be written as k raised to 0 right 1 can be written as k raised to 0 again same funda so since these two are equal so i can directly write therefore m plus n plus p is equal to 0 that's the answer for this question correct right i hope it is clear now okay just get this kind of questions fine okay so next question is now if x is equal to 2 plus 2 raised to 2 by 3 minus 2 raised to 1 by 3 okay then find the value of x cube minus 6x square plus 18x is equal to what let me to find the value of x cube minus 6x square plus 18x is equal to what now see again a very good question right basically advanced algebra question to apply all the concept of advanced algebra to solve this kind of question right so x cube minus 6x square plus 18x I need to find the value and this is given right so what we'll do is basically I need to observe here is I need to observe here is here the term required is x cube x square and x okay so the decreasing power of x x cube x square and x and here here it is 2 raised to 2 by 3 and 2 raised to 1 by 3 right and here it is x okay so what I can do here right now is I can write x is equal to okay sorry x minus 2 is equal to 2 raised to 2 by 3 minus 2 raised to 1 by 3. correct so now if it is right if it is like this so now we can observe it we need here this term so we have to cube both sides right so we have to cube both sides okay to get this term right so we'll cube both sides so cubing should write here that cubing both sides cubing both sides x minus 2 whole cube is equal to 2 raised to 2 by 3 minus 2 raised to 1 by 3 whole cube right and i hope you know that know this a minus b whole cube is what it is a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b into a minus b so we'll use it we will use it here so x minus 2 whole cube right so x cube minus 8 that is a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b so 3 into x into 2 into 
a minus b that is x minus 2 is equal to now 2 raised to 2 by 3 cube okay so 2 raised to 2 by 3 cube so 2 raised to 2 by 3 cube this will get cancelled left to 2 is square right minus a cube minus b cube 2 raised to 1 by 3 cube and this gets cancelled okay minus 3 ab 3 into 2 raised to 2 by 3 into 2 raised to 1 by 3 correct and into a minus b that is 2 raised to 2 by 3 minus 2 raised to 1 by 3 this we got here right hey, i hope you uh, get it this funda that 2 raised to 2 by 3 into 2 raised to 1 by 3 what it becomes so 2 raised to 2 by 3 into 2 raised to 1 by 3 is equal to 2 raised to 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 right base are same we can simply add it becomes 2 raised to 1 that is 2 this part becomes 2 only right so what i should write here is now x cube minus 8 minus 6x six into x minus 2 is equal to this becomes 4 this becomes 4 4 minus 2 becomes 2 okay 4 minus 2 becomes 2 my 2 minus 3 into okay now this becomes 6 so 3 into 2 becomes 6 and i don't want see in the question there's what, what, what is required here nothing as such fractional powers are there right so i should remove fractional power that means 2 raised to 2 by 3 minus 2 raised to 1 by 3 i can simply remove re replace it by what x minus 2 2 raised to 2 by 3 minus 2 raised to 1 by 3 is what it is x minus 2 that replace like into x minus 2 yes fine this is correct now okay so x cube minus 8 minus you can just uh, break it right it becomes uh, 6x square minus 6x square then uh, minus 6x into minus 2 plus 12x equal to 2 minus 6x okay the 6x minus uh, plus 12 correct so what do you got here now x cube minus 6x square you get all the x terms one side this minus 6x will come here it becomes uh, plus 18x is equual to you get all the plus terms that is 2 plus 12 is 14 14 plus 8 becomes 22 so 22 should be the answer for this question right so 22 should be the answer for this question okay so this is the complete solution of this kind of question right so it's a good concept we should know this kind of question how to solve it fine now see you should know how to solve this kind of question also okay like x minus a upon b plus c okay plus x minus b upon c plus a plus x minus c upon a plus b is equal to 3 so what is the value of x is equal to 3 so what is the value of x right now see this is basically uh, this kind of question you got to write uh, not uh, solve this kind of question with old conventional method right so what i'll do in this kind of question is i'll try to put some values and get the numbers as right i'll try to put some values okay so we'll try and put some values here got to as observe for this kind of question okay so you can see here that there are three terms here first term second term and third term and sum of three terms is three okay sum of three terms is three that means each term can be assumed as one each term can be assumed as one right so if each term can be assumed as one so whichever term you assume right x minus b upon c plus a equal to one it's fine it's fine whichever term you assume you can see here that if you solve it you will get x minus a equal to b plus c or x is equal to a plus b plus c or you solve this also so you'll get x minus b equal to c plus a so you'll get x is equal to a plus b plus c that's it so that's it my answer is x is equal to a plus b plus c. this is my answer okay so this kind of assumption you need to make right this is called a smart solving right a smart approach you have to solve for this kind of question you have to assume for this kind of question right and you can easily easily proceed by solving this kind of question right now i'll show you right i'll show you one more x minus a square okay upon b square plus c square plus x minus b square upon 
a square plus c square plus x minus c square upon uh, b square plus a square so this is equal to again 3 what is the value of x from here right so again what we'll do again same thing i'll do right i can see here that the sum of these three terms is 3 okay sum of these three terms is 3 this plus this plus this sum of these three terms is 3 right so if sum of these three terms is 3 so what we'll do basically i can simply assume each term as 1 1 1 so anyone you assume as 1 x minus a square upon b square plus c square is equal to 1 therefore x is equal to a square plus b square plus c square that's the answer for this question right i hope it is clear okay so all this kind of questions we can do very very easily by this kind of funda right okay so now so this is the next question here that we'll do now x is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 okay and x into y is equal to 1 okay so what is the value of x cube plus y cube okay <laughs> what is the value of x cube plus y cube plus 3xy upon x cube plus y cube minus 5xy what is the value okay let's solve it let's solve it okay so you can see here that okay x equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 and x into y equal to 1 so don't try to solve it right okay you, you want to put here x uh, uh, x equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 so you want to put x cube as 3 plus 2 root 2 whole cube no don't do that right we have to find an easy way since xy equal to 1 so this part and this part both becomes 1 right and therefore i got y equal to 1 by x i can simply put here y equal to 1 by x i got it i will get as x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3 upon x cube plus 1 by x cube minus 5 by putting y equal to 1 by x and xy equal to 1 i'll get this so now my base my main motto is to solve for solve for x plus 1 by x right i mean my main motto is, is to solve for x plus 1 by x now what is x plus 1 by x so what is 1 by x now so what is 1 by x 1 by 3 plus 2 root 2 directly can rationalize i told you multiplying by okay so 1 by x equal to 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 2 root 2 so i can directly rationalize it right i i can multiply by into 3 minus 2 root 2 by 3 minus 2 root 2 but directly i can rationalize it just write it conjugates in the numerator conjugate means opposite sign so 3 plus 2 root 2 so it, it will be 3 minus 2 root 2 and upon is difference of the squares of both the term right so 3 square is 9 and 2 root 2 square is 8 so 9 minus 8 becomes 1 that means what is my answer 3 minus 2 root 2 okay so x is x is 3 plus 2 root 2 and i got 1 by x as 3 minus 2 root 2 fine so if i'll add both both of both of these right what i'll get i'll get x plus 1 by x is what this will get cancelled i'll get 6. so if x plus 1 by x is equal to 6 so what i'll get here x plus 1 by x is equal to 6. okay so what is x cube plus 1 by x cube okay so x cube plus 1 by x cube so i know it is x plus we have studied it right x plus 1 by x equal to p then x cube plus 1 by x cube is equal to p cube minus 3p fine p cube minus 3p so here it becomes what it is uh, x cube plus or minus x cube is what it is 6 it becomes 6 cube minus 3 into 6 plus 3 okay upon 6 cube minus again 3 into 6 plus 3 right sorry minus 5 minus 5 okay what is the answer here 216 minus 18 that is 198 plus 3 201 upon again 198 minus 5 upon 193 that's the answer for this question right i hope it is clear so all these questions of advanced algebra okay so we'll keep practicing advanced algebra right you also keep practicing solve all our quizzes okay thank you for watching this video